Hi YouTube, it's Erin, and I figured even though I just finished filming my last vlog, which means I'm in exactly the same clothes, I figured I'd go ahead and film the nursery tour while I was right here because knowing myself, if I don't do it right now, life's gonna get in the way, and as I'm sure you all know, things get really, really busy, and so I'm just gonna do it. A couple things to note, there is couple piece two pieces in the room missing so one is um, his name is gonna go up here which I'll show you in a moment uh, but obviously we don't want to share the name just yet and then we have like one shelf where I only have the picture of him on it right now but I use I also have another letter board um, picture that right now also has his name on it so I've removed that as well because we're gonna keep that a little quiet at least in the meantime so I'm gonna take you on a little tour of his nursery and um, yeah I hope you enjoy it and let me know what you think this is going to be the start of the nursery makeover. This is what the room looks like right now so this has been my office as you can see but over the last little while, it's been taken over by baby stuff. So the idea is that this is going to no longer be my office. It's going to be the baby's room. But we need to start getting some stuff out of here. Because there's a lot. Hey, Lolo, look at this. Mm -hmm. Look at this mountain! <laughs> So, I'm gonna take you along on the tour, and we've got a tour guide too! Say hi, Wills! <laughs> you looked frozen for a second. So, the first thing we're gonna do is just literally get everything as much as possible out of the room. And then I've gotta pack up all my kind of office stuff to make room for baby stuff! Alright, so this is phase two. Room's a bit more emptied. My desk is still in here, so it's gotta go too, but one step at a time. We are not even going to open this closet yet, cause it's a whole project on its own. <laughs> Our house is not big enough. <laughs> but yeah, this is where we're at. All right, so here's where we're at at the end of day one. So it's coming together. We did quite a bit. His glider comes tomorrow, so I'll put that in here. And then my mom's making me a sign for above his crib. So yeah, getting there. All right, so let me show you what his nursery looks like. All right, so let's go into some detail. So I got these two bins, one from Amazon and one in the one in the back is from Bye Bye Baby. The first will just be like a little stuffy or toy bin and the second in the back we're currently using as his hamper. Um, he does have a crib. We got this, it's a Carter's crib. Um, I just really liked the way it looked and it was pretty 
inexpensive, which was kind of nice, but I love that it's green white. Kind of goes with the rest of our theme. Uh, the sheets that are on there right now, I got also at Bye Bye Baby, and I've got a couple different sets as well. We did get the Newton mattress, so I am planning on buying some of the Newton sheets because I really want to make sure that the breathability of the mattress carries through. I got these prints on Amazon, which I thought were so cute. So there's a little out baby elephant, a zebra, a lion, and a giraffe. And um, yeah, I got them off Amazon, and then I just got the frames at Ikea uh, to put those in. Just a little fake plant over in the corner, also from Ikea. Got the Mama Roo swing. A little table for me for nursing. It's always nice to have like a place where you can throw your stuff on. And then there's the nursing pillow in the back. Um, this glider I actually also got off of Amazon. And um, unfortunately, locally, locally uh, because of fabric shortage issues due to the COVID supply chain challenges, um, we couldn't get a glider local. I mean, that was within a price range we felt comfortable. So I found this one. On Amazon it was $400 and um, really actually quite comfortable it's both a glider and a rocker or like a swivels and rocks and then the ottoman comes with it but it does not swivel or rock so if you're into if you're looking for that well, it would not be a good option uh, the diaper genie is behind there up here we have just some storage blankets on the right and then little shoes and accessories on the left just a couple cute little shelf things newborn diapers this is all of his uh, current newborn clothes so we've got sleepers on the left and right and then little socks and mitts and bibs in the middle some swaddle blankets my breast pump which i actually got from the u.s um it's the lv i've heard amazing things about it thank you to my sister and my mom for getting that back to me um, here in canada then we've got extra change pads uh change or this thing change pad mattress covers there uh we've got a couple things in the drawers um that's the pillow from the chair i actually replaced it with like this one for, which i got on amazon as well and some manuals so nothing too exciting in that drawer and in the bottom drawer which i have to open with my foot at the moment i've got my carrier which is the lily i forget which one lily 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 and a nursing cover and a couple other uh, waterproof change pads. Moving along, we have the change pad here. Wipes warmer, which yeah, I've heard is just a luxury item, but you know what, It's we have one. So <laughs> I have it here, it's got a night light on it as well. The one thing that's not in his room and we just got from a, a friend of ours, thank you again, um, is the hatch. Uh, night light and sound machine so that'll be put up somewhere around here as well or maybe even to be honest on this table so that I have it as a low light for nursing and a couple little books up here nothing too crazy and then some products that we have you know diaper ointment etc um, on this shelf we have this bath and kind of grooming stuff a couple of receiving blankets a portable diaper caddy with lots of nursing pads in the front. Um, that is our outlet, which we still need to install, which is the baby's monitor um, and camera. More books, more blankets. So in this drawer, I've got all of his bath stuff. So I've got some towels, baby shampoo, face cloths. Like I said, I probably bought way too many of those. <laughs> it's fine. And then down here, receiving blankets and an extra like portable change pad for a diaper bag. Over here, we've got two of our diaper bags. I've got one that is already packed and I'll show you what's in there later. But I've got those stored there. We actually have nothing for the baby in the closet. Um, it's really currently filled with a bunch of my stuff, including my wedding dress because we still need to get married. <laughs> um, so I'm not planning on using his closet for now. And let's see, in here, we've got tons of nursing and feminine care, like post-birth supplies. So I've got ice packs and a whole bunch of things for me. 
Um, I've got a manual pump up there should I need it. I always like to have a backup. Um, nursing pads for my bra. Uh, lots of baby wipes, which is, we have way more boxes of those too. I just, I've had them on an Amazon, Amazon order for quite some time. Um, lots of diapers. This is a blend of newborn and size one. Down here we've got some bottles, and then these are like excess clothes bins, so I have them all organized by size. Um, so, you know, these are just the different bins. That's his um, winter gear as well, so I've got a little um, snowsuit for him, a little hat, and then the car seat cover that helps keep them a bit warmer. And on this side, So on this side, we have a bunch of accessories here. So I got these portable, uh, like a, a portable diaper genie for the diaper bag. And those are like the, the extra inserts or refills. There's some Clorox wipes. Don't worry, not for the baby. But I do like having those in um, the diaper bag to sterilize surfaces and other things, um, especially during times like COVID, more diapers way more wipes and down here are those clothes bins I was talking about and our growing stash of baby um, laundry supplies so I've got detergent and I've got those like nice smelly beads and yeah that's really it so that's what I've got so far for the baby again we still need to install his owlette and we still need to put in the hatch um, nightlight and noise machine here but otherwise I think we're pretty good so let me know what you think let me know if you have any comments about what we're missing anything I should definitely add in um, I forgot also to I guess to quickly mention uh, just in case you're curious this little fox lamp came from Amazon and then I put this um, little power block in behind it's got plugins USB Ports, which I'm actually using right now because my camera died uh, but it's really helpful and I just kind of hit it with a plant um, super helpful though if you have a lot of things to plug in in a spot um, and don't want to have to necessarily you know use actual plugins so we have this um, on there and super happy with it but yeah so this is his room so excited I can't wait for him to be actually in it we also do have the halo bassinet, but that's in our bedroom right now um, because he'll be in there for quite some time. Thanks for watching.